Let's start by making a really cool stutter vocal lead. I just started with this long vocal sample that I found on Splice. Now to make a cool stutter LFO effect, I connected the vocal sample to a mixer track. Then I right clicked on the volume control button and I clicked on create automation clip. As you can see, that creates a volume automation. Now we're gonna make a shape like this on the automation. And we're gonna copy paste this shape in this rhythm throughout the whole lead. Nice. Now that we have a cool foundation, we're gonna chop up the vocal sample, and we're gonna play with the pitch knobs until we create a nice melody. Remember to also add the volume automation shapes throughout the whole vocal lead. Now, this is the melody I came up with. Now guys we want the lead to be bigger and more powerful, so we're gonna add a few mixing effects to achieve that. I began with an EQ removing the lows, and also taking down a bit of the highs to make it sound less harsh. Then I added a bit of OTT to add some compression. Then another EQ to take down some ugly frequencies created by the OTT. A camel crusher adding some distortion and some more compression. A third EQ removing some more ugly frequencies. A sound goodizer on mode B with a knob turned to maximum. And a final EQ to make the vocal lead a bit cleaner. Then lastly I added a fruity stereo shape to make the lead very wide in the mix. This my friends was the vocal lead before we added the mixing effects. And this is after. Now we're gonna connect the lead mixer track to another mixer track that we will call lead bus. And we're gonna do that by selecting the original lead mixer track. Then we are gonna right click on this little button on the track that we want to link to. And we're gonna click on root to this track only. As you can see, this will link the lead mixer track to this second track. So now we can put effects on this second mixer track that won't be affected by the volume stutter automation. So to make the lead a bit cooler, we're gonna add a very big reverb on the second mixer track. And we're gonna add a reverb automation like this to control the reverb. We're also gonna add a bit of sidechain on the second mixer track. Now my friends, let's create a really punchy bass line that fits nicely with the lead. I used this quite punchy bass preset from Serum and made this bass line. Now we want the bass to punch harder, so we're gonna add a few mixing effects on the bass. But first we're gonna drag this knob all the way to the right to make the bass completely mono. All righty, for the mixing I first added an OTT for some compression, then a sound goodizer on mode C, an EQ removing some unnecessary frequencies, some more compression using Camel Crusher, and a second EQ removing some more ugly frequencies. Now this was the bass before the mixing. And this is after. And this is what we have so far, guys. Now, my friends, we're gonna make some powerful chords to take the drop to the next level. But first, I just wanna say that we're getting close to 10,000 subscribers now, so I would truly appreciate it if you subscribed and turned on post notifications. All right, my friends, when I made the chords, I first found a really cool and unique chord preset in Serum, and then I made these chords. To make the chords bigger, I added a good amount of reverb on top.
Now to add some more power to the cords I added a good amount of compression with OTT. Then I added an EQ removing the lows as well as removing some ugly frequencies. And lastly I added a fruity stereo shaper to make the cords wider in the mix. This was the cords without the mixing effects. And this is with. And this is what the chords and bass sound like together guys. Now let's quickly add some tight drums and effects. I began by adding a kick with a lot of bass. Then a short clap. And a hi-hat. Then I added this groovy drum loop. And lastly some atmospheres to fill out the drop a bit more. Now guys and gals before I show you the final result I would truly appreciate it if you checked out my EDM sample pack, link is in the description. If you get the pack you'll get 6 FLPs, 280 samples and 150 serum presets, all made for future house, bass house, slap house and deep house. Here's a sneak peek of two of the FLPs from the pack.